Good morning, peeps. So I wanted to quickly share with you a junk journal that I created for Swap over on Facebook. The um, junk journal junkies, I believe it's called. Um, yeah, it's a pretty simple junk journal. Um, it was the first time I used my cinch. Uh, <laughs> and I put this uh, this book together. It didn't come out too bad. It came out a little, uh, little warped. But um, for the most part, I think it, you know, see, it's a little, not so rounded, but um, I think it came out okay for my first try. So um, <clears throat> I didn't create this um, intentionally for the swap, but it happened to, you know, work out that way. Um, the theme was fall. And um, so let me quickly share with you. The papers I used was the Vintage Country by Recollections and Habitat was a hot buy as you could see a while back um, so here we go these um, are seven gypsies uh, book covers so on the inside of the book covers I put some um, vintage book pages and I just inked everything with vintage photo I didn't do too much inking because um, the person I'm swapping with, we didn't communicate much about what she wanted or what she liked. So I really didn't know what to do. And she made my junk journal before she even knew I was her partner. So it was a little different, um, a little different than what I usually do with swaps. So I, I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but anyway. Here we go. So, just um, I kept some of the pages blank because I didn't know what she wanted to do with them. Um, I put um, the vintage paper bags, and on the inside um, are paint chips, and on the other side are journaling spots from Prima. I'll just keep these out. Um, just some lined paper. Um, I did a little bit of stamping. Did I say the theme was fall? I don't know if I said that or not, but um, the theme was fall. Um, I used my little teapot stamp and I cut it out. Used some washi tape. This is, um, you know, file folders that I cut down. Some leaf stamping. More little leaves. The other part of the bag, I just used my Martha Stewart punch on this side more um, paint chips I'm not sure this way I like this one because it has the fall trees in the background and then this one so yeah so they both have um, journal and spots on the back and I got some half pages in here more stamping I usually do a lot more but you know just some vintage um, from a like a vintage I don't even know what it is a magazine or something that Melly gave me um, yeah I usually do a lot more but like I said I didn't get a feel of what kind of stuff she likes so wasn't quite sure what to do so yeah I just kind of did a little bit of this a little bit of that so I made this little tag with my stencils and a little owl I put some stickles on it, sprayed it, stamped on the back. Okay, I'll just leave that out because I have to hurry up because I have to mail this off today. And I have laundry to do. And I want to try to do some more um, crafting and some washi tape here, teacup, more coffee cup. Some more washi tape I just put together from the um, collection. Some more vintage ads. And then I clipped this, uh, this envelope here. Put some washi at the bottom. Made another pocket with another tag. Stamped the tree and sprayed. Like, I didn't know if, like, vintage was, like, her style, so I didn't want to go too vintage. <laughs> really didn't know. I really didn't know. 
like I said, it was a very different experience um, doing the, this uh, this junk journal for somebody. There, so there's the back page, just some uh, more book pages that I inked up, and then that's the back. That's the back. So that's it. Um, very simple, very quick. Um, I do want to do another um, junk journal with these papers. I think they look great together. Um, a bigger one. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I just feel like doing it. So when I do, I will share it with y'all how I put it together if you want. And maybe we'll make it together if I can find some time to do that. And that's it. So have a great day, people. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.